A Democratic state representative says he has created a bill to end Nathan Bedford Forest Day in Tennessee. That day just so happens to be today. A law required Governor Haslam to recognize the Confederate general and KKK leader, even after Governor Haslam called for a bust of Forrest to be removed from the state capitol. But how are those proposals going over in the town where Forrest grew up? News Channel 5's Jason Lamb has the story from Chapel Hill, new at 6.30. He enlisted as a private in the Confederate Army, rose from the rank of private to lieutenant general. Gene Andrews with the Sons of Confederate Veterans can tell you there's a lot of history in Nathan Bedford Forrest's boyhood home outside of Chapel Hill. He was the, more or less, I guess, the father of modern armored warfare. Forrest's influence extends into Chapel Hill itself. There's Nathan and Forrest Streets, this marker at the home where he was born, the high school is named after him, and this memorial just a few feet from Chapel Hill's town hall. We realize that we do have historical roots to, to uh, the things in the past here. The town's mayor says on this day meant to recognize Forrest, there's a lot of controversy this year surrounding the Confederate general and KKK leader. People concerned about uh, the Nathan Bedford Forrest flag, uh, the Forrest School, the name of the Forrest School, um, there's some concern, uh, you know, that uh, to change the name may be out there. Just this afternoon, Democratic State Representative Mike Stewart of Nashville says he filed a bill to end Nathan Bedford Forest Day across the state. And Governor Haslam has come out in favor of removing a bust of Forest from the state capitol. But the Chapel Hill mayor says people shouldn't expect the same with the memorials and school name in Chapel Hill. I think if it's left to this community for us to handle our own issues and stuff, I don't see it changing the name of the school. He says especially in the town where Forrest grew up, there's an historical significance in Chapel Hill that he hopes isn't altered by outsiders. We want to uh, be sensitive to the issues that are going on in the world at the same time. Uh, realize that there is a history here that uh, uh, we, we can erase. It's an argument that's been used across the country, which now takes on new meaning in Forrest's hometown. The mayor says the aldermen here all seem to be in agreement that they don't want to see the school name or any of the memorials here change anytime soon. Reporting from Chapel Hill tonight, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5 HD. When it comes to the bust of Nathan Bedford Forrest in the state capitol, a commission will be meeting this Friday at 9 a.m. to discuss what the possible next steps for the bust could be.